All right, guys. Today I'm on my way to buy some weights. To buy some weights. You know, one of my dreams in life is to get ripped. You know, I just want to get ripped. Do you know what ripped means? Ripped means uh, to get big muscles. You know, I've always wanted to get ripped. So, um, yeah, so today I'm going to go to a store and buy some weights. You know, buy, uh, hopefully buy some big weights. You know, I'm not actually going to use my weights. I, uh, you know, I just want to buy them. Um, yeah, I just want to, um, you know, I just want to spend money on them. It's good, you know, it's, it's, it's good to work toward your dreams, right? It's good to take your dreams seriously. You know, I want to, um, whoops, I'm going to get into an accident. If I keep driving like this, I better start driving like a like a normal person instead of like a madman but um, yeah you know you know it's good to take your dreams seriously right it's good to spend a lot of money on your dreams but not put in the effort to actually achieve your dreams you know um, you know that's a mistake a lot of people make a lot of people they they actually put they, they put a lot of effort into you know into working toward their dreams that's a big mistake what you want to do I'll tell you the secret Okay, you want to spend a lot of money on your dreams and uh, you want to spend a lot of time thinking about your dreams but not actually spend time doing it. You know what I mean? It, some people are confused about that, you know. Some people, um, they think about something and then they do it. Alright, that's, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's just a common mistake. That's a rookie mistake. Okay, the secret is you want to spend a lot of money on your dreams and spend time thinking. It's more important to think about your dreams than to actually do it, right? That's just uh, common sense. Because if you actually, if you were to actually achieve your dreams, then what would you think about? You know, how would that benefit your life if you actually, if you actually achieved your dreams? It's just sort of weird. So, you know, the best attitude you can have toward, is my window open? that door is open I can hear uh, it's a bit louder here in my cabin than normal I think it's because that door is is slightly ajar okay do you know what ajar means ajar means open okay we use that word for car doors if a door is ajar that means it's open so I think uh, I think my back right my uh, my my back right side door is uh, slightly ajar yeah, I can hear it. It's uh, it's a jar because it's a bit louder than normal in my cabin. Okay, the inside of a car or the inside of a of an airplane is called a cabin. Okay, so I'm I'm in I'm sitting in my oh yeah I can see the light. I've got a little warning light, a uh, little red light that shows me that the door is a jar. So yeah, that door is is definitely a jar because I can I can see the light. Anyway, enough talking about my car. Let's talk about our dreams. So what are your dreams in life? What are you doing to, um, you know, to what, what attitude do you have toward your dreams? You know, I would say the best attitude a person can have in life toward their dreams is to spend a lot of money on your dreams. Not be disciplined. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people get really disciplined, you know. Like, for example, um, you know, when people want to lose weight, okay, sometimes they go jogging every morning or they go biking every morning. That's the wrong attitude to have. I'll tell you, the best way to lose weight is to go to the gym and buy a gym pass. Okay, buy an annual pass. Annual means yearly. Okay, so you want to go to, you want to go to a gym, buy an annual pass, right, one year and then not go at all. Not one time. You're not going to waste your time going to the gym. You're going to you're going to you're going to spend money on buying the pass and you need to make sure you need you're going to tell all your friends about it. Okay? So as soon as you buy the pass, you're going to tell all your friends, "Hey, guess what? I just bought uh, I bought an annual pass at the gym." And your friends are going to say, "Whoa, that is awesome. Boy, <laughs> you're cool." You know, they're going to respect you. They're going to respect you a lot for, for buying the pass. 
just like you're gonna respect me after I spend hundreds of dollars on weights you know maybe I can buy a, a full weight set you know and you're gonna say mark wow you're awesome you just blew hundreds of dollars you know on a on a new weight set on a home gym you know you're cool that's what you're gonna say right um, yeah, you know, I, I would say that's probably the best way, that's probably the best attitude a person can have toward their dreams. You know, spend a lot of money, but uh, don't actually, don't actually take the steps. You know, don't show any dedication. Spend a lot of time thinking about it. Spend a lot of money, you know, open your wallet. You know, buy this, buy that. You know, hopefully next year, you know, I could buy um, a new treadmill. Wouldn't that be awesome? I could buy a treadmill and use it to hang up my laundry. You know, that would be a great thing to you. You know, when you buy new stuff like that, you want it to collect dust in the closet. For stuff like that, you know, you don't actually want to use it. You just want to, uh, you just want to have it. You know, you want to look at it. Um, you know, another great thing to buy if you want to lose weight is to buy, um, buy some great workout clothes. You know, buy some nice, some nice pants. Buy some yoga pants, buy a nice uh, nice t-shirt, buy some, buy some running shoes, but don't actually use them, just look at them, you know. The point I'm trying to communicate to you is that, you know, for achieving your dreams, the most important thing is to spend money and to uh, just to think about it, but don't actually do it. All right, guys, I'm back from my shopping expedition and I got some, I got some great products. Well, you know, it's a bit overwhelming, to be honest. I just, I got my dream right in front of me here and it's just, I mean, to see, to see this right in front of me is just incredible. You know, my dream is to lose weight and to get ripped. So man, I'm just, I'm just so excited just to have my dream. Okay, so I wanna show you the products I got and, and what I'm going to use them for. So where should we start? Let's start with these cookies. I, I just baked some freshly, freshly baked uh, chocolate chip cookies. Now take a look at this, this five pound weight. Okay, this is just the perfect holder for a plate of freshly baked chocolate chip cookies. Just look at those. Look. What's wrong with that cookie? That didn't turn out very, um, didn't turn out very well. Better put some ice cream on there. Let's put some ice cream on that bad boy. There we go. I'll eat that in a sec, but uh, first I just wanna just sort of give you an overview of what I got and uh, and what each weight is good for. Okay, so we started uh, we started off with the chocolate chip cookies. Now let's move on to the chocolate. Okay, look what we got here. We got some organic Tanzania chocolate, dark chocolate with almonds. 72% dark chocolate with almonds. Now the perfect, this is just the perfect holder for this chocolate. Okay, look how, just look how perfectly it fits on there. It's just the perfect thing. Now, uh, let's let's move to this. Let's move to the Pepsi next. Okay, this is a, a 12 pound, sort of a typical 12 pound weight, and it is just the perfect holder for a can of Pepsi. Now, it, you know, it doesn't need to be a can of Pepsi. It could be, you know, you could probably use it for like a milkshake, you know, or you could use it for, I don't know, you you could use it for. You know, chocolate milk or any other kind of beverage that you want to put on there. You know, it's just a really, it's just a perfect place. You know, you you can just reach it like that. You know, I don't have to reach down to get it. I can just reach like straight forward and then I can see it. You know, part of this whole thing is, is that, you, you know, you can see your dream right in front of your eyes, right? That's the whole purpose of this. You know, experts, experts say, you know, if you have a dream, you should print off a picture of your dream and put it on your fridge. You know, let's say for example, your dream is to own a really nice house. Okay, a really big fancy house. Then what you should do 
is you should find, go online, you know, search for pictures of nice, you know, nice luxury houses. Find one that is similar to what you want and then print it off and just slap it on your fridge. You know, that way, every time you walk past your fridge, you'll see your dream. Or every time you open your fridge to get some food, you know, you'll see your dream. Well, that's what this is here. Okay, so every time I eat food, you know, I'll be eating off my dream, right? Every time I look at this, okay, I'll know my dream is to lose weight and to get ripped. You know, I'll just, I'll just always think about it. It's right here. You know, I don't need to like, I don't need to like use extra brain power to think about my dream. No, it's right here. It's right here before my eyes. So, you know, for the rest of my life, you know, when I'm eating chocolate or drinking Pepsi or eating cookies, I'll be, I'll be thinking of my dream to lose weight and, and, and get ripped. I mean, that's why I bought such a big one. Okay, so let's, let's talk about this one next. How much is that? Uh, 25, it's a 25 kilogram weight. Now, the reason I bought 25 kilograms, it's a big weight, right? You know, to get ripped, to get ripped, you need, you need big weights. Right, so that's why I bought a big weight here, you know, to get really big muscles. Now, the reason I'm eating ice cream here is, uh, is because this is my lunch. But, you know, I want to tell you a secret. Okay, you're not going to believe this, but you don't need to use this for ice cream. Okay, you can also use it for pizza. You can use it for pizza. It's the perfect size for Pizza. Now I haven't actually, I haven't tried it with pizza yet. So, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna sound like an expert here because I haven't actually tested it out, but I measured it. It's the perfect size. You could fit a nine inch or a 12 inch pizza on here. So I'll be testing that out soon. That's my next, you know, maybe for supper tonight, I'll, I'll use this for pizza, but you know, just for lunch, obviously, you know, I'm gonna use it for ice cream. Uh, now let's let's talk about my gloves. Okay, now I also picked up some some workout gloves. Now these gloves are amazing. Not only can you use the gloves to like put chocolate on, you know, when when you want to have chocolate on the table, but you can use these gloves even to eat the chocolate. Let's test it out right now. Okay, I'll show you. All right, put those, put that on. Okay, look at that right there. Now uh, we're just gonna take the, take the chocolate out of its wrapper here. And we're just gonna dig in, right? I'll show you how, you know, how you can use these gloves just to, uh, to okay, so here's the glove, right? It's on my hand, you can just break off a piece like that and, uh, you know, and just put it in your mouth. You know, it's as simple as that, so. Break another piece off here. Mmm. Oh, that's a good lunch. Right, let's wash it down with some Pepsi. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. Look at that. See? Perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. It's time to dig into my um my ice cream cookie here. Oh, mm, that's good. See, see my glove? It's just doing so great. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. 